my name is Jonas. In this video, I will introduce you to a great software, which will allow you to work remotely with, for example, video and graphics by accessing your Windows or Linux workstation from home. But before we begin, remember to like and subscribe. That's highly appreciated. So, in the current situation we now find ourselves in, many people can't go to work as usual. And because of this, it seems to be an increasing trend towards remote workflows. Now, in this video, I want to introduce you to a software which I've personally been using when working on a video for about two years now. The software is called HPRDS, which stands for Remote Graphics Software, and is available as a 90 day free trial. I was introduced to it by an editor who uses this software to allow other editors and people involved in feature film productions to access these projects on the server or the internet. Now, HPRDS is basically a remote desktop software on steroids. And as part of this introduction, I thought I would share this video by HP. Before I play it, I just want to clarify that HP did not sponsor this video. But I'll happily receive a donation if anyone on HP happens to hear this. Alright, we, we often hear that HP's remote graphics software is HP's best kept secret. It's a remote desktop application on steroids that essentially lets you take all the power and performance of a high-powered Z computer, but access it from any other device, whether it's a Mac or PC, at any other location. That then is really easy to just download a piece of software on two computers and connect, and that's about it. This naturally lets a lot of people connect at the same time and they can take turns with the mouse and they can be interacting and designing together in a very collaborative mode. Every time we get to share this with someone and they actually test it for themselves, it's just like, okay, oh my gosh, this changes everything for us. One of the common questions that we get is what kind of network connectivity or bandwidth do I need? And a lot of people have this past experience of yeah, I've done some remote desktop and it's definitely not like a local experience. We can give you that just like local experience where you move the mouse, the mouse moves. You hit play and it starts playing back a timeline seamlessly. Another great example is some people who are in the visual effects industry have render time. Now they can start that render, move the mouse over to another machine or change the window and then just keep working. What comes first to mind to people is they often think of virtualization or VDI as that solution and then we help them see that they could get all of that by simply taking their high performance Z machine, moving it, racking it, and then you don't need any virtualization. And then they get everything they want. It's just amazing. We work with some of the most demanding and impressive companies across the world. So they're constantly upping the game with their complexity and the graphics. Wherever they are in the world, they get to experience the power of Z. And the company gets to keep their intellectual property locked down, the machines managed in one location. Collaboration, remote access, and sometimes centralization are so important to these really demanding customers that have high performance computers. That is why HP's remote graphics software is part of Z. So the HP RDS software consists of a sender application and a receiver application. The sender application is installed on the Windows or Linux workstation and the receiver application is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. I personally mostly use this software to access my video editing PC through my MacBook Pro, most often locally. I created several previous videos where I explain how I personally use HPRDS in my daily workflow. Check out the links in the description below to learn more. The receiver application is free, and you can get a 90 day free trial license for a sender application. Everything can be found on this website. I'll put a link to it in the description below as well. Also, please let me know if you would like me to create a more in-depth tutorial on how to install and configure both the sender software and the receiver software. If you have thoughts or questions, please leave a comment below. Also, remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, until next time, goodbye.